YouTube, welcome back. It's your boy JV Ink Shu with another Call of Dragons video. This time, I'm going to be doing a tier list on the best heroes in the game. We're going to do this as a series, so every Friday I'll be uploading the tier list Fridays. See you then. Welcome to my Call of Dragons tier list. So I'll be ranking these heroes based off the best heroes in the game to the worst. As we can see the tier list here, we have uh, an S tier, which will have the heroes that are just absolutely broken or absolutely out of the insane. Then we have A tier, very, very, very good heroes. B tier, just average your average heroes c tier which is below average or not that good f tier which is absolutely horrible heroes and should not be used for anything or at all in any scenario and then utilities to be like farmers or engineers used for building so let's start off here by just doing the obvious ones here. We'll knock off the not exciting ones like Keela, Ban, uh, Chuck, 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 and Ordo, which is right here. Now, all these heroes here are basically just your farmers all they're used is for to farm grab the resource out in the open field ordo can be used as farmer or i mostly use them strictly for engineering building alliance buildings or destroying uh we have indus indus she's a legendary hero in my opinion i mostly use her for farming at the moment her skills are very good for healing i'm gonna put her down at utility because that's what i use her for is farming at the moment let's go ahead and do move on to the cavalry now alistair alistair is an epic hero mostly you know pretty easy to unlock and level up and get him awakened for free to play players players um his skills aren't all that great compared to the other cavalry so for now i'm gonna put him in the c tier uh bakshi another cavalry hero he is a legendary hero he has great defense Good healing, HP. Uh, he's actually, I would say he's A tier as far as cavalry goes. I one of the better cavalry heroes we have. Emery's. He's personally one of my favorite looking heroes. Another cavalry. Insane amount of damage. Uh, it's kind of squishy. But Bakshi with Emery's great pair because uh, Bakshi gives them that extra defense and HP that Emery needs. But as far as attacking damage, it, he does a lot. So I would say he is A tier. Uh, the last cavalry hero we have is Farandale. Now, Farando, another cal uh, legendary cavalry. He is actually the only cavalry that is a flying cavalry. So he's paired up with, if you're a spring warden, you can pair him up with your flying cavalry, your flying eagles. And uh, he is very, very good as well. Uh, in my opinion, he might be the best cavalry hero in the game but any combination of Fondo, Bakshi, Bakshi, Emery's 
this combo will be pretty good. Let's move on to infantry. Bakar. Bakar, another epic hero. If you're free to play, it'd be easy for you to use him, level him up. Uh, he does decent damage. Uh, he's not tanky. So I would put him right there with Alistair at C tier. Garwood, legendary infantry. Garwood, very tanky. He gives you a lot of healing during battle. Um, he has to be paired up with some, some other infantry hero. But other, I mean, his healing is insane. He keeps you up. He's very tanky. So I would say he's right there. I think at B, borderline B to A. We'll just put him at B for now. Nika. Nika is another infantry hero. She is also legendary. Uh, she is more focused on counterattack and doing damage. Her skills are not all that great because infantry in general don't do a lot of damage. So for me, she's right there, right at C tier. Skull, the, one of the new infantry heroes that were just added into the game. Wow, she's... Actually, let's go ahead and put her in Gorish, just right at A tier for now. Both of them, this pair right here is crazy good. They do a lot of counter damage out in the open field. They survive for a while, and they're absolutely insane. And our last hero here infantry is madeline madeline is another great infantry hero that is actually paired pretty well with garwood or even uh scoble here let's do mages mages we have atheist atheist is a flying mage um doesn't do a lot of great damage but he has a lot of rage accumulation i'd put him right there in the middle at b awen epic hero as well uh he does a lot of control damage and he's not bad valen valen is a great mage hero he is actually one of the better ones out there uh, he does a lot of damage, a lot of AOE damage. Lilia. Lilia is another great mage. A lot of AOE damage, a lot of skill damage out there. Just punishes your opponent. We have Waldir. Waldir is an epic hero. Also, AOE, area of effect, skill damage. He's probably the best uh, epic hero in my opinion uh, we have the new hero Bertrand now Bertrand a lot of hype he's actually a flying mage uh, but right now I would say based off how he is he's actually pretty bugged his skills aren't working as intended so we'll put him at B tier for now. And uh, his partner who came in just added this season, Tohar, another new mage. I mean, we all know was where he belongs, right? F tier, garbage right now, he, he sucks. Not great, his skills are not that useful. And I don't think we will see him a lot in the open field this season. Um, Thea, 
She's not technically a mage, but she's an overall support. She's paired up pretty much with uh, any flying hero. She is a great support. Lots of shields, lots of heals, a lot of bonuses. You can get her awakened. She's probably one of the better he heroes out there. Uh, to keep him with the overall trend, we go Hosk. Hosk is another good hero. He is very hard to get if you're free to play. It's the only way to get him is if you pay. Uh, his skills, though, aren't all that crazy unless he's fully awakened. So for me, he's actually just right there in the middle at B tier. Iliana. He's a good little hero, especially if uh, paired up with certain heroes. Gives you lots of support, lots of healing, shielding, counter damage. Solid, solid hero right there in the middle. B tier. Fragar. Fragar is absolutely one of the best marksmen. Marksmen in the are pretty broken right now. So Sinjian is right there as well, right right next to her. Nico, he's kind of a weird place for me. I don't use Nico because of uh the previous two heroes I mentioned, but Nico's not bad, especially if you have him uh leveled up pretty high. So I would say he's a B tier. Win-win. She's an epic hero, free to level up or free to play. Get her awakened. Easy here to use. E tier. Craig. Craig is another marksman. He's actually a flying marksman. To me, he's not all that crazy. His skills aren't great compared to the other marksmen. So I'm going to go ahead and put him at C tier, right below average. Kinara. Kinara is a legendary marksman. If you get her, uh, a lot of people use her if she's one awakened or anything close to it. I would say she is up there, but she, I wouldn't say she's better than Fregar and Sindrion. So I'm going to go ahead and put her at, right at B tier. And you can ignore these. Theodore, I forgot about. He is a cavalry garrisoning hero. Uh, compared to the other heroes, he's right there, smack in the middle. All right. Now, as you want, as you can see, I didn't put anybody in S tier. Well, that, let's let's take let's take a look at that. I don't want to put a lot of people, a lot of heroes in here, so. I'm going to put in one of each category. The obvious one, Lilia, probably absolutely best mage in the game. She's not free to, so you have to pay to get her, right? Sindrion, absolutely broken. This crit rate, crit damage is crazy. Uh, Gorish and if I could put them as a pair, I would, but for now I'm going to go Gorish as S tier. And I don't want to put a cavalry here up there because they're just not in an awesome space at the moment. They're too squishy. They die too fast unless you're a tier five. So there you have it. This is my Call of Dragons hero tier list. Now, please leave a comment down below if you agree or if you think otherwise, let me know. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And like I mentioned earlier, this will be a weekly Friday tier list. So make sure you're here for next Friday for tier list Friday. Thank you guys. I'll catch you on the next one.